When you mention the words Australia and music in the same sentence, for many people they'll either think of Kylie Minogue, ACDC or Rolf Harris. But of course they're not the traditional sounds of this land. So I've come here to Shark Bay in Western Australia to delve a bit deeper. <laughs> Now that's not normally the first instrument I think about when I thought about Australia. I normally associate Australia with a didgeridoo. So what is this? This, as you can see, Ben, is a shell. This is actually a, a conch shell. Yeah. Uh, people also call it a bugle shell simply because of what I've, you've just seen me doing by blowing it. Mm. Um, this is found here in the shallow bays here in Gudadagudda. And this is a traditional food. But this is also used during the pearling days when people would harvest the pearl shell. And they'd take the fish out cut the nose off and use this to communicate with the different purling boats. And how do you play it? What you basically do, it's very similar to a didgeridoo actually. Yeah. You're using your, your lips and using your cheeks to force air through, keeping your lips loose. And you actually try and play this on the corner of your mouth. Mm. So if you watch where I put this, it just goes, don't try and blow too hard and try not to put your fingers inside there, but just hold him and caress him like that and just hold him. That is pretty loud, isn't it? That is really loud. Now you've got a didgeridoo here with you as well, but that's not from these parts, is that right? That's very good, Ben, yes. Um, grab that. Here, you hang on to that. This is um, uh, my didgeridoo, and it's referred to traditionally as a yidaki from there. Yeah. And it's traditionally only played by Aboriginal men for men's ceremony and, and things like that. You don't see Aboriginal women playing. It's, it's not part of the Aboriginal woman culture. Mm. And this is traditionally made from wood. And different wood give you a different sound. So what are the techniques then to, to playing it? Can you give me like three top tips if you like? Yeah. What shall I be doing? All right. Have your mouth nice and relaxed. I'd try and play on the corner of my mouth like that. Like on the conch? Like on the conch, exactly. Yeah. Same technique. And you're just going <laughs> using your cheeks. Slowly putting on your lips. And just take your time. Don't try and blow too hard. Close, keep going. Just hold him soft on your lips. Just really soft. I think I'm struggling here. But I noticed though you have something that might be a bit more up my street. You've got two sticks here. Absolutely. Hang on to that dig for a while. These here, mate, are yeah. from this country we call Gudadagudda. And this, of oh, these, I should say, are tapping sticks. So this is made from acacia that you find in the red sand. This is made from one yew tree. On our night tours, Ben, what we actually do is we introduce people to both the tapping sticks and didgeridoo, or the yidaki, and give people an example on how these two very traditional instruments can actually work together. Well, let's try that now then. I think you really should be playing the didgeridoo. You sure you don't want to? You're a little bit better at it than okay. I am. It's not much, just yep. a little bit. Here we go then. Perfect. Well, I seem to have the sticks mastered. Tapes is uh, getting a good tune going on the didgeridoo. Let's leave the master to it. Mm. 